بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله A man went to a scholar complaining about poverty. So the scholar spoke to him with words of edification. He said to him, هل لك بعينيك مئة ألف درهم؟ Would you give up your two eyes in exchange for a hundred thousand dirhams? So the poor man said, لا, no. The scholar said, فبيديك? What about for your hands? He said, لا, no. He said, فبرجليك? What about for your legs? The man said, لا, no. So the scholar said to him, Subhanallah, أَرَى عِنْدَكَ مِئَاتِ الْأُلُوفِ وَأَنْتَ تَشْكُ الْفَاقَةِ Subhanallah, I see that you have hundreds of thousands, yet you complain of poverty. At times, one of us does not realize the great value of an endowment they have, an endowment they see or use every day, except if it is lost. The believer should not be like that. We should thank Allah the Exalted for the endowments He has given us, whether that endowment was perceived as great or less than that. And the obligatory thanking of Allah is by not using the endowments he bestowed upon you in disobedience. Furthermore, for one to thank Allah verbally is a praised matter and is recommended, like to say, Alhamdulillah. But it does not take the place of the obligatory thanking. Thanking Allah for his endowments is a way for one to tie the endowments down and hold fast to their ropes and reins so they don't slip away. As Allah the Exalted said in Surah Ibrahim, Ayah 7, لَإِن شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ This ayah means, I swear, if you are grateful, I will certainly give you more. And so, your endowment won't just remain with you, but Allah will increase you. Subhana. Walhamdulillah, wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. And Allah knows best.